to come and face the electoral commission and put it straight to them. Not that we expected uh, an immediate solution, and just like we've communicated it to the electoral commission chairperson, that we have not been assisted. When we were blocked from a consultation, there was no COVID-19. We were not assisted. When I was... Uh, roughly arrested on the 3rd of November, the day of nomination. It was not about the SOPs. And yes, all that has been ongoing is not about the SOPs. So we came to face the Electoral Commission. One, because the Electoral Commission has been silent. They've been silent ever since we were brutally arrested from the nomination ground. The Electoral Commission has been silent since the murder of more than 100 innocent citizens of Uganda. The Electoral Commission was silent even when five people were murdered in Achifuma by police trucks running over them. So we came to go on record. We came because we know that the Electoral Commission is responsible for this election. And yes, we put it to them. Um, among the issues we raised it was a question whether or not the Electoral Commission is in charge. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is the military blocking us, uh, brutalizing people and closing people's businesses. As you can see, these are the people that are being shot dead by the police and the military, and some goons that move around with guns but in plain clothes. As you can see, these are the scenes of our campaign meetings uh, mad with violence, tear gas and live bullets from the military and the police. We also raised the issue of DPCs and RPCs and other government officials that constantly block us from using public facilities like hotels. As you all are aware that in Mijera we had to sleep on the road because the DPC, the one patient, Namara, said that we did not qualify to sleep in hotels. We put these pictures to them. This was one of the scenes where the police and military cut this lady, as you can see. Um, yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, this is a picture of the car where I was. This car was shot in all tires by the military and the police. As you can see, this is what our people go through on the campaign trail. This continues to be the scene of our campaigns. We also reported to the Electoral Commission that um, the head of my security, the security that was given to us by the Electoral Commission, was shot at by fellow police officers. And we believe that they were targeting me because the two closest people to me, who is Officer Kato, was the head of my security, and uh, one of my assistants, the producer Dan Magic, also was shot with a tear gas canister, and his face was split. He even lost his teeth. We put this to the Electoral Commission because we wanted them to be aware of the constant murders of innocent Ugandans. This is the scene from yesterday, this gentleman is called Officer Kato and is the head of the security that was given to me by the Electoral Commission. He was trying to save my life and he ended up shot like that. This is a scene of our campaign in Mokono. These are the scenes of our campaign. As I was telling you yesterday, we narrowly survived death because the military shot live bullets. This is a bullet hole in my car after the tire was removed. 
the people that are training us are dressed like this. This is one of the people that was shot and killed by the police and the military. These continue to be the scenes of our campaign, but the Electoral Commission has continuously been silent about it. This and more are the pieces of evidence we brought to put to Mr. Biawakama. These are the scenes of our campaigns, ladies and gentlemen. As you might be aware, when we were in Northern Uganda, my Deputy President, uh, Dr. Alina Zedriga Waru, was arrested and detained in a congested prison, in, in a congested police cell together with men. And this is the image. For a long time, Honorable Zake and other leaders have been complaining about the police detaining men and women in the same cells. This is the evidence. And yes, these are the scenes. You can see the war weapons that are being deployed by the military against unarmed citizens, and their crime is supporting Chamberlain. Like I told you yesterday, we narrowly survived the death. My driver is still traumatized. This is a bullet hole that went through the windscreen of the car in which I, the Honorable Zake, and other leaders were seated in Jinja. This was yesterday. This is a scene in Mbali. This you see here is my car, where a one officer called Asimwe Abraham, also known as Bravo by his fellow soldiers, deliberately threw a tear gas canister inside my car. This one is my car, and here I was inside. This is, this is a scene from yesterday. This is my music producer called Dan Magic. And this is exactly what they did to him while he was trying to save me from the same. This was in Iganga. As I've always uh, mentioned to you, ladies and gentlemen, that we are constantly blocked from using the main roads by the police and the military. We are always forced to use the dusty and feeder roads. But even in those feeder roads, I want you to see this is the Uganda People's Defense Forces taking position to fire live bullets at unarmed civilians simply because they stand on the roadside to wave to me. These are the weapons that are deployed against us. This is one of the campaign scenes. This is where we're supposed to have our campaign meeting. This is one of the many scenes of our campaign trail. <coughs> and yes, this is also a campaign scene on our trail. This is yet another picture from yesterday where we narrowly survived death at the hands of the UPDF and the Uganda police. This was also supposed to be a campaign meeting, one of the very many that are disrupted by the police and the military. People scamper around for safety amidst a hell of tear gas. As you are aware, people stand by the roadside to wave to us, but this is how we are followed by tear gas and live bullets by the police and military just for having supporters by the roadside. This is one of the many scenes. And yes, this is my car, filled in tear gas. This is yesterday. That is a bullet hole in the windscreen of the car where I was seated. I've been saying, ladies and gentlemen, that we are being trailed by men in plain clothes but having guns. In many cases, these people with no police or military uniform but having guns are actually the ones giving orders to the DPCs and RPCs. This is one of the pictures taken 
by, by an unidentified person holding a gun and trading it. This is what our campaign looks like. This picture was taken when we were trying to access uh, Oima and Masindi. The police blocked the road and claimed the road was under construction. The same road that had brought us from Oima, all of a sudden, in a few minutes, had become a road under construction, and therefore we could not use it. That is why we ended up spending the night on the road. In this picture, one of our comrades called Dan City, whose duty is to raise the national flag high, was being beaten by the police, but we salute him for not dropping the flag of Uganda. This is one of the scenes where the police was brutalizing one of our supporters, and the crime was supporting us. This is a continuation of the same. I've already shown you this picture of the military taking cover to shoot and kill unarmed civilians. This is yet another scene. I was inside that car. And yes, that is the outside of that car. This is the inside, and that is a tear gas canister dropped in my car by a police officer called Asimwe Abraham, also known as Rabo in Limbali. This is what it's like when we say the military has taken over this election. This is a continuation of the same. I've already shown you this picture of Dr. Lina Zedriga detained with men in the same overcrowded cell. I've already shown you this. There are quite many pictures that we can show you, ladies and gentlemen. Pictures showing brutality, pictures showing the police shooting at us, pictures showing us filled in tear gas, pictures showing the military taking over and brutalizing people, shooting to kill and I'm civilian. It is many, many, many pieces of evidence that we can show you, ladies and gentlemen. The reason why we came to the Electoral Commission is not that we know that they are going to do anything, but because we wanted to go on record. We wanted to tell the Electoral Commission that the police and the military are trying to kill us. They are trying to harm us, and we want the entire nation and the entire world to know what is happening. We have communicated to the chairperson of the Electoral Commission. Initially, when I spoke to uh, the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Mr. Biawakama, on the 4th of November, he told me that he's not on social media. Therefore, he was not aware that I was uh, brutally arrested on the day of nomination. And yes, he has many times commented that he's not aware of what is going on. That is why we came to tell him face to face. The Electoral Commission promised us that they will address these issues to the relevant officers. But we wanted to go on record that we have reported to the Electoral Commission. We have tasked them to take charge or resign. We have told them that we know that they are supposed to be in charge of this election. We've asked them to prevail over the police and the military, to tell them to keep out of this election, especially the military. We have asked them to ask the police to stop blocking the roads for us. We've asked them to ask the police to stop determining our uh, campaign venues because that is not their mandate. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we also wanted to put it to you. We want to announce that tomorrow we will repeat, we will return to the campaign train. We are actually setting off this evening to our next destination. We are beginning with Namutumba. For areas where we have not come, we are going to reschedule and ensure that we reach everywhere. We thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for God and our country.
Never to be the Nini, Abagi, never allow Nabona government money to Mateka, a college to Kuru, a batch was a Kuru, and a batch called a great solution of the I'll say that in English. We even raised the issue of double standards by the police in, in regards to the uh, enforcement of the so called SOPs. We are being brutalized, our people are being killed, while Mr. Museveni goes ahead to address people, to meet people, and his supporters are gathering, but they are gathering in protection, under the protection of the army and uh, the police. So we raise that to the Electoral Commission, and they promise to address it. Whether or not they, uh, whether they address it or not, we are heading out and continuing with our campaign. We continue to mention, to uh, inform it, Nechinoka <laughs> <laughs> Tutekeza mwami vya wakama. Kiti amateka gamu la gira. Tiyawa adukanya ensonga ze vyo kulonda. Elawe va ensonga ze vyo kulonda. Nga zimu lini are kulire. Mweba lenyo, mweba lire. Dara waka tona nesi ya. So come over here. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Sassi. 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 My name is Thank you very much. There are three points I wanted to make, ladies and gentlemen. One, uh, as you saw in the pictures, as being followed by uh, un 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 ununiformed individuals wielding guns, you have also seen pictures of uh, military cars and police cars with number plates removed. These people are evidently targeting our lives, but they don't want any record taken. Also, police officers who are supposed to be bearing name tags do not bear name tags when they are coming to carry out those illegal operations on us. I also want to highlight the issue of RDCs and other public servants that have gotten involved in this election, but primarily to brutalize and intimidate our people. Very importantly, I want to inform the world that this is supposed to be an independent electoral commission. But on our way entering, we found posters of the old me, posters of pictures taken 15 years ago when I was still in the ghettos of Kamocha. Posters that, of a history that I'm very proud of, painted 
all over the wall of the so-called Independent Electoral Commission, which is guarded 24-7. Now, this is supposed to communicate to every Ugandan out there who was still doubting the partiality of the Electoral Commission. Katika <laughs> What one in motor car is in the Chicacha drone, Ziganda zip picking a band to a fake, a Baba Buzao, Banging your Baba Buzizao, the Tunamania, Chibaba Tande. For the next song, Endala, Yava Ara disease, Ababaino Kubera and Kabakoziba government. Naye, we were seeing the Ogwenigira, Mugurugu, Waka Luka, no campaigns, no Kabati Satisaba. Next, Sembayo attend a school in you. Ruadero, Wazi, Waba, Ida Kachiko, Kavio Kuronda, Roku Nigiziwa, Okulu Guniziwa, no many Waba take up again a mass. Nature when you sack, and a Kachiko Kavio Kuronda, Kaino Kuanga, the Kaina Chekacheko Vida, with what the twin, the Eranga Mugendo Kulava, two sons, the Evifanani Biangi, Eviakuviwa, Emiaki Suka Kuminetano, a G. Say, Nandimugetus of Vizeka Mocha. Ebi fana ni, ebi tangu kwa Samsoni, kubanga kuko bulamu na itam, gabi timbi dua, ukachi koke bi okulonda, gabageza kuko baba lusa, tivali mukono na linia leandi. Bi timbi dua kutsenge cha electro commission, kutsenge echi kumi ba police na maji, esawa abiri mnyia. Kadi wawa waliwo muna Uganda acha busa busa, ya kachi koka ina chie kubira, ya kala ba mufa ano, mugeni mola ba ebi fana ni, ebi acha bulani. If you are covered, do a babalu oza and divani mukono na linyari angi. Maybe team bivwa ukachi koke bio kulonda. Uwaba tegezeza. Uwaba tegezedwa. Chituja wa no uruwa liru. Muli oke mmanye. Jino. Um, you know government. Egenda kufuwa okola bulichimucho na. Echigenda okumaliza nga jikiswa ziza. Na ye. Imalize. Na nevi chongo levi ya government. Ife nabe na. Evi anisi. Eye songa ba sebo nebanyago. Jemba denja gala okutangaza. Katinebwe mutu. No, I to